Hey everyone, it's Warriors in RL Phonetics here. Hope you're all doing well. If you are a new viewer to this YouTube channel and you haven't done so already, please make sure you don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click in that subscribe button, it really shows your support for the content that I do and it helps the channel as well in terms of getting the word out about the videos. And um, yeah, it's much appreciated and it's absolutely free. Doesn't cost anything at all, and um, would also like to thank those who have recently subscribed to the YouTube channel as well. And uh, make sure you don't forget to like this video, click the thumbs up button on this video, and click the bell, bell so you don't miss a notification when I upload any new videos on the channel next, or when I go live, you will be notified. So do all the following, guys. It's really much appreciated, and thanks for all the support. Now let's get into the video now, so I'm going to give my overall thoughts on a bit of signing news that just happened today, and look, it's been rumoured for a couple of days this week now, um, you know, it was reported by the Daily Telegraph that uh, the Warriors were approaching Jet Cleary, the younger brother of Nathan Cleary and the son of um, Penrith Panthers coach Ivan Cleary. And um, the club, the Warriors club, has actually confirmed it now. It's it's a done deal. Jet Cleary, a, a Cleary, is returning t to the Warriors, and he is signed on a three year deal. Jet Cleary uh, from twenty twenty five season next year. Now Jet is nine. Jet is nineteen years old, and um, he is the youngest brother of um of Nathan and he comes through a famous rugby league nursery in St. Dominic's College in Penrith and he has played for the Panthers Penrith Panthers development teams in the Harold Matthews Cup which is the under 17s and the SG Ball Cup which is the under 19s now just to read what uh, CEO one, one New Zealand Warriors CEO Cameron George says and the recruitment manager in Andrew McFadden. So Cameron George says here, it's an exciting time for us to be able to bring a player of Jets quality into our pathway system from next season. The Cleary family has the strongest links with our club through Ivan's time and it's special thrill to sign Jet and have the Cleary name back with us. We're again truly grateful for the cooperation from Penrith and Ivan in helping making this possible. Now, Cleary Jet played for the Panthers at the Harold Matthews Cup level in 2021 and 2022 before going up to the SG Ball Cup side last year and again this season. Um, so the recruitment and pathways management uh, there in Andrew McFadden, Jet has a big future in front of him. And we're excited to give him the chance to develop into our systems. While he was only young when he left New Zealand to go back to Australia, Jet has the benefit of a strong family tie with the club and with Auckland as well. He brings wonderful ped pedigree with him as well as great understanding of the game after coming through the Penrith Panthers' fantastic pathways system. Now, for those of you who should be aware, Jet Cleary was born in Auckland, New Zealand, that's right, on April the 2nd, 2005, so basically, Jet is actually a Kiwi, so we can take that in, we can take that one, um, that, he's a, that he's a New Zealander, he was born in New Zealand, um, but obviously, you know, he spent majority of his, um, after, you know, being with being in New Zealand for quite some time, then, then spending it with, um, Obviously, his dad and, and his young other brother, as well as his sisters and family, who, you know, went back to Australia. But Jet, you know, if he ever wanted to, he could always play for the New Zealand Kiwi. So he definitely qualifies being born in Auckland, New Zealand. So, hey, if he ever wanted to, um, he's more than welcome to, to represent the New Zealand Kiwis. Um, who knows? Who knows? But in, in saying that here, so just reading up on his, his info here. So, yeah, play, play for... The Penrith Herald Maths SG Ball, as well as represented the New South Wales combined uh, Catholic colleges in the National School Boys Championship last year. So, it's a high, it's a blood, 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 um, high quality, uh, you know, fact that he has, you know, done quite a bit for his junior career so far. Being that he's only 19 years old, 
Um, so basically, he's, height is at 182 centimeters, weight is 81 kilograms, and um, yeah, so SG Boy, he made eight appearances in 2023 to 2024, and uh, the Harold Maths team, he made five appearances from 2021 uh, to 2022, and then he represented, of course, the New South Wales Catholic Colleges last year. So, look, I think this is a great, great, um, great, well, great signing for the club. Um, yes, it'll be, it'll be in the junior pathways system for the junior pathways team. But, look, whatever happens, you know, if he plays well in those junior pathways teams and, you know, he keeps developing and continues to be better, who knows? We, we, you never know what's going to happen in the future. We may see him in a first-grade Warriors jersey in a non-distant future. But, look, that's a long way away from, from thinking at the moment. But, look, I think this is good to see that the Warriors have gone and been able to, you know, get a younger player like Jet Cleary from an Australian, uh, you know, system, which the Warriors have struggled to do over the years, trying to attract uh, Australian talent to the Warriors club. And we've been able to do that with, with the signing of Jet Cleary. We've been able to sign James Fisher-Harris last week. So we're doing something right. We're definitely doing something right at the moment. And that's all credit to, you know, what the Warriors are doing behind the scenes. Cameron George, CEO, Webby, um, and also, you know, Andrew McFadden, who's the recruitment manager, um, who, you know, was a coach of the Warriors only a couple of years ago. Um, so, you know, it's a credit to the people behind the scenes. They've been able to get someone like a young young player like Jet Cleary, who's very talented. Um, you know, you can tell with his, what he's done so far. Um, and his, um, well, he's only 19, really. He's only 19. So for a for, for young young bloke like Jet to do such, be doing, you know, all right to start his career being 19 years old, you know, it's a full credit in itself, and, um, but, yeah, look, you've got to say, shout out to Penrith, you know, Penrith, you know, for, for being able to, you know, let, the, let, well, let him go to, to the Warriors, you know, you would think, you know, that Jack Cleary may be the next thing to come into the Warriors with Jerome Luai leaving, like, at the end of this year, but, obviously, um, you know, Jet wants to come to New Zealand and, um, try and favour his, um, you know, development, and, and that's what he's going to do when he comes to the Warriors next season for three years. Um, it's a three-year contract, which uh, will be interesting to see whether after that three years, you know, whether he whether he likes it in New Zealand and he wants to stay, whether he, or he would want to go back to Australia and back to Penrith. You know, that, that will be interesting in itself. But, hey, I like what we're doing. I really like what we're doing at the moment. We, we're thinking about the future. That is the most important thing. I always harp on about how junior pathways... And getting young players is, is you know, the key moving forward. Because the likes of Sean Johnson, Tamari Martin, they're not going to hang around forever. Sean Johnson, look, I think Sean Johnson's probably got one or two more years left in him. I personally think next year could be his last year at the Warriors. Um, and w- don't forget, we've also got Luke Metcalf. We've, we've re-signed Luke Metcalf as well this season as well. Um, you know, we've also got... Uh, Tamari Martin um, as well. Now, Tamari Martin, that'll be interesting to see how long he ha- hangs about at the Warriors. Um, we've got Chanel harris Tavita as well. We've got some young players coming through the other teams in the pathway system. So, look, it's good It's good to see the Warriors are thinking about the future after Sean Johnson leaves. Um, so, that, that, that that's, that's what I get mainly out of what we're doing at the moment. Um, you know, with the pathways, having the pathways team is now very important and, we've, and it's so crucial. And, uh, you know, it's helped Penrith. It's definitely helped Penrith. You see how the one won three premierships in a row. It's definitely helped them. And um, hopefully with this pathway system moving forward, it helps us as well moving into the future because, you know, that's, 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 that's key for me. But great stuff by the Warriors. Awesome stuff. Jet, Cleary. We get to see a Cleary run around at the Warriors again. It's been been a while been a few years since we last heard the Cleary name at the Warriors. Um, we had Ivan, of course, coaching, playing for the Warriors. Um, but now we get to see young Jet Cleary um, suit up in the Pathways teams for the Warriors next season. And who bloody knows in the future, maybe, maybe a potential for a first grade chance. You, you just never know. You just never know. But, of course, for now, it's all about patience and getting to see what he will do. 
um, how he how he um you know settles into to going back to New Zealand, back to Auckland, um, back to you know where where it all started, you know where he all started, where he was born in New Zealand. But obviously his junior junior footy played a lot in Australia. But um, how how bloody good is it? So. Yeah, let me know what your thoughts are, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Jet Cleary, young Jet Cleary, um, 19 years old. Um, you know, how bloody awesome to have such a, you know, young young generation player um, be able to come and sign for the Warriors, play in that pathway system, and we'll see how he goes. We'll see how he goes and see what he does. You know, that is the thing. We'll see how he goes. And, um, look, if, if he has, if he does play well for our pathway team, who, who knows what could happen in the future. But, um... Guys, don't forget to make sure you like this video. Please click that thumbs up button on the video. Click that thumbs up button. Click that like button. Don't forget to make sure you're subscribing to the channel as well. Click that subscribe button down below. It really shows your support for the content. It's much appreciated. And also, it's absolutely free as well. It doesn't cost anything at all. And, um, yeah, we're trying to... Trying to get to 3K subscribers. The goal is to get to 3K subscribers... Uh, by hopefully the end of the year, hopefully by the end of 2024, and um, yeah, we're at the moment we're at the 2,000, I believe at the 2,611 subscribers. So we want to get to 2,700 subscribers next. But um, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, and um, the future's bright for the Warriors, and um, exciting times ahead.